Are you a lover of all things mechanical, wacky, and weird? Well, if you are, then you have probably heard of Ed China. He's best known through co-presenting and co-producing the Discovery Channel reality TV series, Wheeler Dealers, as well as several other car-oriented TV shows and holds a few Guinness World Records. Let's tell you more about this colorful character. Ed was born Edward John China on the 9th of May 1971 in London, England. His passion for the mechanical started when he was young, and so, after Ed attended King Edward's School of Whitley in Surrey, he therefore obtained a degree in engineering product design from London South Bank University. It was here that he lived in a double-decker bus, concurrently ran 35 car projects, and created the Casual Lofa, an extraordinary driving sofa covered in cheetah prints with a coffee table built on the base of a classic mini. Although this vehicle was street legal, it unsurprisingly still got him pulled over by police, but it certainly turned heads and put Ed on the map. Ed worked a short spell as a special effects technician on the TV show Father Ted, following which he started his own company, Comfy Banana LTD, in 1999. This gave him the unlimited freedom to create whatever his inventive mind desired, and his innovations attracted several television interviews. In 1998, Ed and his casual loafa had featured in the most outrageous Jeremy Clarkson video in the world, ever, in which the motorized sofa was raced around the Thruxton circuit in Hampshire, England. Ed and the Casual Lofa also featured on The Big Breakfast three times over the years and from 1998 onwards, Ed featured as a guest in Scraphead Challenge, known as Junkyard Wars in the USA, and was seen in the TV show This Is Your Life, drawing attention as he drove the presenter Michael Aspel to the television studios and around favorite hangout spots. Ed went on to become a resident designer mechanic on Panic Mechanics, also known as Top Gear Panic Mechanics, which screened seven episodes. Sadly, most of the footage was lost. Then came Ed's guest appearance in the very popular long-running BBC series Top Gear, followed by BBC's Ready Steady Cook to raise money for children in need. Subsequently, Ed also co-hosted the short-lived series Auto Trader alongside Mike Brewer and, in 2003, Discovery Channel snapped up Ed and Mike for the British TV series Wheeler Dealers, launched in October of that year. Ed was the co-host and producer and also the mechanic, his job being to transform cars to look, sound, and perform as brand new. During that time, Ed was also a co-presenter of the 2005 TV miniseries Classic Car Club, which explored the culture and history of classic cars, and in 2007, Ed was seen in the culture show, driving celebrities and performers around the Edinburgh Festival. The company called Grease Junkies was founded in October 2009 as an internet retailer of Wheeler Dealers merchandise. In 2012, a motor garage in Brocknell, Berkshire was bought, encompassing a Ministry of Transport testing facility. Vehicles older than three years in the UK require annual roadworthiness slash safety and exhaust emissions test, but the MLT tester resigned, which left the company in difficulty, especially as it emerged that there were unpaid debts to employees and creditors, not previously disclosed. The company was obliged to settle the claims and, as such, significant costs unbudgeted for were incurred, with the result that it had to be liquidated on the 5th of August in 2016. A spin-off series entitled Wheeler Dealers Trading Up was launched in April 2013 in which Mike traveled around the world buying and selling cars. The original Wheeler Dealers show had a good run of over 200 episodes in 13 series, but not everything was hunky-dory. In 2017, Ed quit the show and went his own way, with till then Mike's closest friend and even the godfather of his kids claiming that he and Mike had different plans which they couldn't mutually agree upon. So, Ed felt he needed to pursue his own interests, however Mike had a different version of the story. He acknowledged that Ed was fantastic at what he did, providing accuracy and detail to his work, and making restorations look easy peasy. But Mike said Ed became more difficult to work with, putting himself in a position that became untenable. Mike, feeling Ed just wanted to work less. Velocity Films took over in the 12th season, and Ed had some problems with their intentions for the show. 
and so was replaced by Aunt Anstead. When Ed left, Mike's family even received death threats, so Mike temporarily pulled the plug on the show in 2017. But it was revived for four further series screened between late 2017 and late 2021. In January 2020, a second spin-off series, Wheeler Dealer's Dream Car, premiered featuring Mike Brewer and Mark Elvis Priestley as the mechanic, continuing along the same theme as the original show. Ed, now 51 years old, stands imposingly tall at 6 feet 7 inches or 201 centimeters, and with his shock of now gray hair and brown eyes, is known to be an offbeat eccentric character. So it's interesting to know who he's going to be matched up with. Let us introduce you here to Ed's wife. Born Imogen Claire Hannibald in Norway in May 1971, she attended Nesbru Vidagardne. She attended Nesbru Vidaregained School and studied further at BI Norwegian Business School. In March 2000, Imogen kicked off her working career as VIP Relations Manager at British Airways London Eye, then joined Madame Tussauds in 2002. Ed and Imogen have successfully kept all the juicy information about their relationship and marriage confidential. But it's obvious that they'd known each other and were possibly in a relationship since before May 2006, when Imogen became a director of Comfy Banana LTD. Later in September 2014, she became a director of Grease Junkie, and the couple were also co-directors of a company called China's Republic of People Limited, incorporated in February 2011. But it's uncertain what the company did, and it was dissolved in February 2018. In December 2016, Imogen became a director of Illuminate TV Limited, responsible for television programming and broadcasting, a position which she still holds. The couple live in London, and they don't have children. Ed has come to the notice of Guinness Records a number of times. In 1998, the casual loafa earned Ed the Guinness Award for the world's fastest furniture, which he achieved inadvertently when he was speeding at 87 miles per hour, or 140 kilometers per hour, around the Donington Park racetrack. He kept this record until 2007, when it was broken by Perry Watkins driving a dining table and chairs. Really? Between 2005 and 2011, Ed achieved Guinness World Records for the largest motorized shopping trolley coined as Trolley Shop is Rex. The fastest hot desk, fastest bed, street sleeper, fastest bathroom, box standard, and in 2011, the fastest garden shed, gone to speed, the latter was broken by Kevin Nix in 2017. Since leaving Wheeler Dealers, Ed has enjoyed the freedom of being able to play with, experiment, and drive his own projects. Amongst which is the first electric ice cream van. Ed built the battery-powered engine and through Whitby Morrison, the ice cream van manufacturer, the van itself. The prototype was launched on the 22nd of October 2019. Ed declares that it all started off as a bit of fun when he attempted to break another Guinness World Record. Ed hasn't put the brakes on and constantly delves into new projects. His YouTube channel, which has been accelerating in popularity since its inception in November 2010, has close to a million subscribers and is a platform on which he posts accounts of his escapades and creations, as well as answering fans' queries in the Ask Ed series. On the 24th of April 2018, he posted a pilot episode of Ed China's Garage Revival, filmed in Norway, when he revamped a Golf MK1 GTI. The intention was to create a new, ongoing series in which he would help people restore old cars that were lying around in their garages. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have attracted the response he was looking for. But who knows what's yet to come? Undeterred and unstoppable, Ed premiered Ed China's Workshop Diaries in April 2022, exhibiting various projects in his personal workshop in Buckinghamshire, England on a weekly basis. Ed will be promoting Vixen's Jet Wash and Aquablast machines during the show. A recent significant achievement was the book he wrote entitled Grease Junkie, A Book of Moving Parts, published by Virgin Books on the 1st of August 2019. It's available on Amazon and other channels and has attracted positive reviews, even rating as a Sunday Times bestseller. The book is a memoir of his exploits with the slogan, Think Fast, Think Big. Think the Unthinkable. Ed acknowledges Imogen's help 
And in the write-ups, a 1303 Texas Yellow VW Beetle is identified as his first car. The start of an ongoing love affair with Volkswagen, even though it got him arrested for attempted armed robbery. Guess you'll have to read the book to find out more. More recently, on the 28th of April 2020, Ed appeared in an episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Ed not only has unlimited ideas, but also the innovativeness and energy to bring them into being. As a result of all of his creations and activities, plus exposure on social media with an additional 850,000 followers on Facebook and almost 160,000 on Twitter, plus the merchandise sold over his website, it's calculated by relevant sources that his net worth is about $3 million. Stay tuned as Ed is sure to continue surprising us and lead us further into his parallel universe of possibility. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.